Apostrophe CMS onboarding series. Introduction. Our goal with this series of tutorials is to provide a robust foundation to comprehend and harness the power of Apostrophe CMS effectively. Throughout this series, we will incrementally construct a review-centric sample website using the Apostrophe 3 Essential Starter Kit. This website will provide a wealth of opportunities to learn about the essential elements of Apostrophe CMS pages, pieces, templates, and components. This project is designed as a learning tool rather than a ready-to-use template for your individual projects. We have structured this project into distinct sections, each focusing on a specific building block of Apostrophe CMS. These sections are interdependent, often expanding or refining the code from the preceding ones. However, the code from each tutorial can act as a basis for custom modules in your own project and be used as practical examples alongside our guide and reference material. To help guide you along your development journey, the finalized code for this project can be found on the main branch of our GitHub project repository listed in the links below. First up, we'll take a tour of the site, highlighting what we're going to build. Starting on the home page, the layout widget allows us to give structure to our website. We can section the page up into columns with areas that can contain additional widgets to provide the on-page content. The majority of our site content will come from the review piece type. We will use widgets to display links to these pieces in a variety of areas of our sites. Dynamic pages will be used to display different categories of review pieces, while each review will have its own individual piece page. We'll also create an advanced widget to display our editor's rating and collect feedback from the readers. To ensure a consistent look and feel, we've implemented fragments for the header and footer. These reusable, Pieces of template keep our site's navigation seamless and our brand identity strong. In the footer, we'll add quick links and a widget dedicated to displaying featured reviews. To allow your website to reach a wider audience, we'll also cover page localization to tailor and translate content for different regions. Lastly, we will look at customizing the admin UI, including configuring the personal settings menu. Now that we've taken a look at what we are building, let's briefly examine what we will cover in each tutorial section. Code Overview Before digging into custom code creation, we are going to spin up a new project using the Essential Starter Kit and take a look at the code organization in apostrophe. We'll examine how core modules are improved and organized, but also how to organize project-specific modules and extend the core modules in your custom code. This section will also touch briefly on some of the initialization and customization functions that are available to us to help build a custom web experience. Pages. As we start building our product review site, we'll develop a landing page, category-specific pages, and individual product pages. One of the standout features of Apostrophe CMS is its ability to programmatically generate a multitude of subpages from a single template. This means that you can focus on crafting one exemplary template, and Apostrophe CMS will do the heavy lifting of creating the numerous subpages, eliminating the need to write additional code for each page. In this tutorial, we will cover using schema fields for adding structured content plus adding areas to pages with built-in widgets to allow for freeform content. Additionally, we will look at creating our page markup through modifying the main layout template, creating per-page templates, fragments, and nunchucks filters. Finally, we will touch briefly on localizing static strings and dynamic content for multi-language support. Assets. Next up, we will look at how to handle assets in our project. We'll explore where to place your CSS and JavaScript files that will be used site-wide or on a per-module basis. This is handy for adding site-wide styling, fonts, and analytics scripts. 
We'll look at Webpack options and how to add assets to your page that will not be processed by the normal Webpack build process. Finally, we'll delve into the role of the public folder and how it plays a part in the deployment of your website, touching on the topic of adding static assets like logo images and accessing these assets from your apostrophe CMS templates using relative URLs. Widgets. In this next section of the tutorial, we will develop several custom widgets. These will include a layout widget, a deal widget to insert links to special pages such as e-commerce pages or affiliate links, and a rating widget that will also introduce database manipulation. We will hold off on the development of widgets to display our reviews until we cover pieces in the next section of tutorials. Pieces. In this tutorial, we will create a review piece that editors can use to add their review articles. Once we've built our review piece, we will explore how to generate pages to display all or selected reviews and learn how to feature chosen reviews on our homepage using widgets and relationships. We will expand on our knowledge of content field schemas, including using the attachment field to allow users to upload files or images directly to your pieces. We will explore show and index.html pages to render individual pieces and a directory of pieces respectively. We will look at pagination and creating a directory of pieces. Finally, we will look at displaying pieces with both widgets and relationship fields. Building navigation. As we continue our apostrophe CMS journey, our next milestone is adding navigation to our site. In this tutorial, we'll explore various strategies for creating navigation and select one to implement on our pages. We'll delve into the data that's automatically available to templates, provide an introduction to the page tree concept, and revisit how to add data to the global module. Additionally, we'll touch on array and relationship schemas and their application in creating dynamic navigation. Customizing the admin UI. The admin bar in apostrophe CMS serves as the primary interface for editors, enabling them to create new pieces and pages and manage media files. Additionally, it offers access to global configuration settings, locale settings, and the personal settings menu. One of its crucial functions is managing the document publication workflow, providing notifications to users with appropriate permissions about documents awaiting approval. In this section of the tutorial, our aim is to streamline the admin bar experience to enhance the process of adding content to pages. We'll also touch on the process of adding custom buttons, organizing the admin bar items into logical groups, adding to the context menu, and finally customizing the personal settings menu, allowing users to easily update their passwords or select a language for their dashboard. Adding extensions. In this section, we'll add two extensions to our project. This will give us a chance to explore the extensions section and learn about bundling modules. Bundles make it easier to maintain, share, and reuse collections of modules across multiple projects. This will also give us the opportunity to look at some additional module configuration functions like filters, queries, and extend methods. Having introduced you to the foundational building blocks of an apostrophe CMS project, we're primed to delve deeper into how to effectively organize your files. Understanding how to properly structure your project is crucial for development. Additionally, it is important to understand how to configure and modify modules from the core apostrophe package at project level, and where code for your project-specific modules should be placed. In the upcoming tutorial, we will explore the recommended practices and structures for organizing code in apostrophe CMS. If you have any questions about this tutorial or want more help starting your apostrophe CMS project, please join our vibrant community in Discord. You can join right now by following the link in the comments. We hope that you will continue along with our tutorial series and subscribe to the other great videos in our channel.